Hello and a very warm and fuzzy welcome once again for the second time with me, Ali Brown, and this guy over here, if you're watching you can see him, <laughs> Lewis Guinan, I can now say his name. Uh, yes, welcome to the Bad Players Pokemon TCG podcast. And it's been a couple of weeks since we did our first one. Thank you for everyone for your feedback and people who watched it. Um, their aim is everyone we do is going to get a bit better quality. Uh, Lewis is just being a moron. What was that? Like... <laughs> it's moved. Lewis, we've started recording now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just moved the mic. It's too far away from it. Oh, okay. You see, gro growing pains. Um, Lewis's massive bubble hat. It, yeah. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the kind of the, the, the biggest thing right now in the Pokemon community, you can probably guess. It's, right, we've got Pokemon trading card game online, and we've now got Pokemon trading card game live. So we're going to talk about what we think about the new live game. I've only I've only played it on mobile. What 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 have you played it on? I've played it on the desktop on my computer, and I've played like three games on my phone. But I do enjoy it on the laptop more than okay quicker. Yeah, so so I can talk from it from a mobile phone perspective. You've done it on the laptop. Um, so my initial thoughts are, I it was cool to play it on a phone mm. because it's just more. Uh, compact and portable and I haven't got to take my, my iPad around but and and it was also cool that we got given Lugia which yeah. which which kind of compounds the issue of it being overly powerful and and also now everyone's got it it was it was everywhere on the air so, so, so like yeah everyone now plays Lugia on, on the ladder it's very rare <laughs> rare you play anything else um and uh and, but I still prefer to play online, the online version, because I'm used to it. All my stuff's there. There's no glitches. There's no kind of issues with live um, that, that we that we have on live. So, what kind of what's your like? Tell me about your experiences with live. What do you think of it so far? So I've played about seventy five ish games on live since it came out, and I've been playing Lugia, obviously. That's what everyone's playing online. And I've got to, like, the Greninja team now. Ooh, so I'm playing I've, against, I've just got to Bulbasaur. Yeah, so I'm playing against, like, not actual people, but, like, people who know-ish what they're doing. And I've been playing a couple of other fun decks, like Weezing, Poison, the, the Weezing that stops abilities, so that mostly beats every Lugia that you play against. Yeah, so yeah. if that Weezing is in the active spot, your opponent, your opponent can't use any abilities. Yes. Even on the bench. Even on the bench. It's, uh, yeah, everyone in play. I don't think it counts for the discard, but everything in play. Yeah. Um, and it's it's been okay, the gameplay on it. It's, it gets, it has like lag spikes on it. Like you have, you play like a card and it'll be a bit, a bit more laggier. I've had that once yeah. with quick balls. Yeah, so you, I know that playing tracking shoes is a pain as well. If you play tracking shoes, it reveals the card. Then you've got to press close. Then you've got to get the card. Then you've got to say, do you want the card or not? Then no. Then it shows you the card. Then it says close again. Then it goes into your hand. So it is a bit clunky, if that makes sense to play. Like it, it drags it, on. Is that does that eat into the your fifteen seconds to make your move as well? No, no. It's, it, it, it eats into the like the twenty five minutes you have. But especially right. when you're playing Mewtwo V Union, you end up with a game being like three minutes left when you've got everything set up. Mm. But apart from that, it's not too bad. The menu is something that I would like to be improved because not a lot, a lot, a lot, not a lot of it is very accessible. Like. Yeah, uh, I agree. Exchanging cards, I had to watch a video to find out how to do that, which was one of the yeah. one of the main attractions to the game. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. No more trading. You can just go and get the cards you need, but you've got to hunt to find out how to do it. Yeah, and you got to like spend actual coins, money coins, real life money this time. What on live? Yeah, to you got to exchange codes really to get a good deck. Yeah, it sucks. So, so because because you've migrated your account because you had a slightly fresh online account anyway but i haven't my online account is quite stacked i'm too scared to do it i don't think it's the right time to do it so all the codes that i use are just going online so, I, so i've kind of for example i've used them to buy well i 
I kind of had the codes anyway, but I then traded them for the Lugia deck on my online account. So I, I've got it. I've got Lugia on both accounts. So when I do merge, there's no point. Like I'm going to lose one of the sets, you know. But one of them is gold, so I'll, I'll keep the gold one. There you go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I found that it took me. It wasn't clear to me, and I didn't know how to. They call it crafting cards, isn't it? Yeah, that's when you exchange your. Is it credits? You've got credits, crystals, and coins. It's like four different currencies. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> I'm not keen on that. I don't think they need that many currencies because the, the, the coins you can't really do that much with. It's just like for avatar stuff, isn't it? Yeah. And then, and then you, your crystals, you can buy like you can buy the bundles of stuff in the shop. So if you want to buy, so for example, the Mew V Battle deck is out and delayed a little bit, but it's out in like a week. So you can buy that online using the crystal. And then and then your credits the way you buy the actual cards you want. So it's a bit um it's a bit complicated to get your head yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And I found it, I didn't even know how to, to craft a new card. You have yeah. to go you have to go into deck editor, into the deck you want to edit, and then you've got to toggle on um show cards that you don't own. Yeah. And then you've got to find the card. <laughs> And then click on it, and then and then you can yeah. exchange. You click exchange, and even that doesn't really mean you buying it. What yeah. ex- exchange is kind like, of a uh, word. Yeah, I know. I thought I was like exchange. I thought like the term was craft. Yeah, I was like, I don't get what's going on. Well, it should be like buy or acquire. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what what am I exchanging? Like, oh, credits. For the, it's not very clear. It's not no. So um yeah, it, obviously it it's still classes a better though, isn't it? Better version. So it's uh, hopeful. I don't think I'm going to migrate anytime soon. It's just going to be a little play thing that I have on my phone. Yeah, like you're saying, it is good to be able to carry it around. That's one of the main attractions for it. You might play it on the bus or whatever. Yeah, say if you're so, waiting for a flight or yeah, something. It's, you, don't have, you don't have to whip out your massive laptop. Whip That's, out your what? <laughs> whip out your massive <laughs> laptop in, in the middle of the airport or something. Like, even... Yeah. <laughs> Even because I've got an iPad and that's quite compact, but even then I don't really want to whip out my massive <laughs> my little iPad. <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting a bit too... Um... But mobile especially, so I've got a new phone, right? A new um, iPhone. I play like three games. And my battery's gone. Yes. Like, my whole battery's gone. <laughs> so to me, that's a big issue. I'm not going to play it that much. Because I'm not gonna, I've got to carry around one of those really heavy battery packs with me everywhere I go, because I use my phone for work, like as well. Yeah. I can't, or if I play one more game of Pokemon, I go from forty percent battery to zero. Oh, that's my day done. So um, it, it's it's not. I think there's a. We'll see how it goes, kind yeah. of thing. I think the, that's one of the reasons they haven't updated the mobile version because the mobile version is different visually to the desktop version. There's like the black background, isn't. The mobile on the, on the desktop but there's white on the mobile yeah i think that was because your phone would just spontaneously combust if they updated it I think. <laughs> it would blow up yes yeah, it's, it's 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 all right it's it's not really an improvement but it's not really like detrimental to the game i'd say so what are the differences between live on mobile and live on your like laptop because i don't know it's the just it's side. really easy it's like live on the laptop is it's just like it's really complicated to say. If you haven't like online on the mobile, you've got like the little grid, haven't you? Like the there's your deck, there's like the collect the battle pass, yeah. and there's something, and that's pretty much it. I think I don't know. I don't play much on mobile. On, on the mobile, yeah, so, yeah. So you've got play right in the yeah. middle. You you've got collect your rewards. Yeah, that's you can it. edit your deck yeah. here, and then you can go on your level one on this side. Yeah, on um desktop, like all oh, they have like on the all across like a hot bar on the top. Yeah. where you can go to the different sections. So you just like scroll or you just press and you go to like, oh, I need to go to the shop, press that. That's it for the menu. But in the gameplay, the gameplay is kind of the same. It's just like the background's different. And there's like these little animations whenever like a public Pokemon comes forward. So like, if a water Pokemon comes into the active, there's like a massive gush of water. Is that all over the screen or just in the uh, background? In, the, in like the little grid that they yeah, have. Yeah, in, they do uh, that. That's, that's on mobile. Field. I like that on mobile as well. I didn't know if well. that was on mobile or yeah, not. Yeah, it's but quite it's, nice. It's black in desktop. I think that might be the only difference now that I'm thinking about it more. Yeah. But it only happens when you put the card there. Yeah. Like, it'd be good if it stayed there, wouldn't it? Yeah. The thing is, though, when, when that does happen, because I only have a small 
laptop. It does lag as well. Right, it's like, I wish there was a setting to turn that off. Like, as a person who doesn't have, like, 80... Yeah. Yeah, like, massive 80 grand So you can, PC, have, you can like, have, like, a, a fancy all bells and whistles mode. Then you could have more of a, of a basic Because they had that on, like, on the, the PTCGO where you could, like, change it to best performance or best looking. That's a good idea. I know they had that. They could do that just for people. And especially on mobile, that could help it with the battery. Yeah, because I would, yeah. personally, I would have it on the most basic form. Because at the end of the day, I'm playing it to play the card game. All the other things, yeah, they're nice. But if it's going to mean I'm, my battery's gone after two three or three games... I'd rather not have all the fancy animations. Just give me the card. So I don't care if it looks like solitaire. <laughs> Solid green background, like really pixelated cards. Like you <laughs> just move them up because I'm doing it to practice and get better at the game. Yeah. Um, what, the, other, the, the other thing with mobile is because you're playing it in portrait. So if you've got a big hand, you can't see it all in one go. And you've got to scroll across. It just takes longer to do. It takes a bit longer to think because you've got to like, oh, what's what's in my hand? You can't see it all in one go. Um, yeah, so it's a. I well, let's see how it happens. I'm hopeful that it's gonna they're gonna keep improving it. Yeah, it's me too. Taking a bit longer than it, it is. Than it is. They are asking like a lot of community suggestions as well on like page, like a tab where you can ask, oh, what do you think should be improved in the game? Because I know it's only a beta, but they still should have like a beta, which is good. There is a survey you can take as well, yeah, isn't there's there? a, Yeah, there's a survey, that's it, to like, are you enjoying the game and it's stuff like that, what could be improved? So they are, like, the developers are trying to improve the game and make it an enjoyable experience. Yeah. But I think they should have done this before actually, like, doing a full open beta when people aren't getting this product and they're being like, oh, this yeah. is a load of... I have been had... I've had experience with systems in previous jobs and things like that. They, they kind of, in my opinion, they, they failed it from the the start of even approaching it and talking about it. So I, I said this the other day, I think what they should have done is when they were like doing the planning stage and thinking about how do you want to make this to work, they should have got certain members of the community who are like influential, who are like really like professional players or whatever, who know who get a, a selection of those people, like like form a little bit of a council or something and get them involved from the start. Yeah. Like as they're doing the thinking. Because the people who develop the game probably aren't players. They don't they probably don't care about Pokemon. They're probably just software engineers who would who would work on any game or not even a game like yeah. you know, just phone apps or website, whatever. So they lacked having people that know the game and care about it from the start. And now they're paying the really expensive price. It's already been a year, isn't it? Since it's been meant to come out. So, so it's like, yes, they should have known better, but it's, it's kind of like, there's no point in going and yeah. blaming and going, Oh, it's not very rubbish. All this shit. You just go, what, what can we do now to make it better? Feedback. Just do the feedback. Yeah. And then hopefully, and they're all starting to listen, so I think it'll be quite good. Well, the the code started changing the design about, like... It was Battle Styles, strike. wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Battle Styles. Battle yeah. Styles, I always call that Rapid Strike, but Battle Styles, <laughs> yeah. Um, the introduction that of... That is, like, that was, like, one of the, not the first set, but a pretty early set into Sword and Shield. For, since where we are now, almost in Scarlet and Violet. So, it was maybe it while. was maybe a year into Sword and Shield... Maybe you in a bit. I think it was like March one. Yeah, that's that's quite a quite a while. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll see. Should we should we move on from? Yeah, that? well, that's it's a it's a really like strong topic though. Like there are a lot of things it about it, especially with it being the new game. So I think we will leave it at that. Otherwise, we'll be ranting about this. We we, 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 we don't want to turn into as all doing no. a, a, a weekly podcast, a yeah. weekly live run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and very quickly. Um, I want to just mention Retroball, one of our local local game shops, who have given us a pack of sleeves for our background, our Dragon Shield sleeves here. So thank you very much. And um, you know, yeah, there we go. Uh, so everyone we go. knows. Everyone now knows that they're nice yellow, nice yellow dragon on there as well. They're beautiful. They are Dragon Shield are the best sleeves in my opinion. Find gift. I really like them. 
and uh, you know, if if we get a few more people to listen to, maybe we get we get more. Yeah, was that was that a Lambo <laughs> next week? Yeah, a Lambo. A, a lam- a la- a maybe like a, a, a yellow, a little toy, a toy, toy Lambo. Lambo. Like, like is it a matchbox? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, match, a matchbox, matchbox size yeah. lamp. And we can draw a Pikachu in the window, like driving it. Well, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> we've got what is it? L A I C. Yeah. For Latin America. Latin, yes, well done. Yeah. Um, and that's been going on this weekend. Yeah. It is. It's going on yeah. right now. We've just had it before we started recording. We were watching Todd play. Oh, God, I don't know what round it was. Eight or nine or something. And uh, yeah, we're not watching that because we're doing this instead. Yep. But Boo. we're going to talk about, we, we, we kind of know most of what the decks people are playing. And we don't know who's in the top eight yet. We don't know who's going to, who's won it yet. And, but I'm going to share. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see, you can judge for yourself, right? It's going to be the top kind of, how many is there? A hundred and odd? It's like the top 111 or something. Right, if you're watching on YouTube, you can you can now see top 105. How three, many times Lugia is written on screen? Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Man. There's kind of a lot. I mean, we spoke about last time. Is it going to take over and just be crazy powerful? Yes. Um, <laughs> do, do, do you think? Do you think that was right? Yes. <laughs> Can it? It's what, everywhere. What do you think happens now with the format? Well, when you've got one deck which is just ridiculously powerful, everyone leaves. No plays the game right no no seriously so, 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 so it goes a bit stale it this yeah it probably will but um there are things that you could i'm gonna cry i can't afford lugia you know, it, it's hopefully that there's something to counter lugia but you also kind of hope there isn't because pokemon have already done this like pattern for a whole of sword and shield it's what, like what pattern like Mew comes out, how do we then Pokemon in the next set? Like, oh, Mew's like the best card. Let's yeah. prior print Mightyena. Oh, Mightyena didn't work. Next set, Drapion. But I think they have to plan these sets so far in advance. Yeah. So they would have made that Mightyena card before Mew was even printed, like physically in our hands. Mm. So, 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 so I don't think it's like they watched how Mew kind of change the format and how it performed and, th- and they didn't have enough time then to go oh we'll print my sienna that was already in the pipeline because of how long it takes to deliver a set so, so they so somehow they must have probably gone we, we we know we've printed a really powerful card um and and, and mew might be out say six months six months time yeah. but now we've got a plan to set with my sienna in you know what I mean? Well, even with that, there's still third seed is Mew V Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, because everyone's playing Lugia V Star and Lugia doesn't really play Drapion. No. So there is that guy going for them. Uh, I, I saw us all played a Mew V Max in like an online tournament and did win it. It was like Control Mew. That looked really powerful. I screenshotted that list. That was so dumb. He's just like so like next level play with that. It was ridiculous. Yeah. That there's someone, Lucas. Lucas Kalza, Lucas Kalza, him. He's 9 0 Lugia. It's for an international. It's not something you see every single international is someone like 9 0. No. So fair, play, fair play to him. Lugia V. I don't know if this, like, it shows the Lugia V Star Archeops. I don't know if that means they're just playing straight Lugia Archeops. Or um, if that's I can it. tell you for sure that no, it does no. not mean straight Archeops because I know I've seen Natalie Miller, who's number 13 on the list. Oh. Uh, She's definitely playing Radiant yeah. Charizard and Amazing Rare okay. e- Eveltal. So we don't know what the p- propor- proportion is of pro- people, pro- 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 proportion <laughs> of people playing um, Lugia V Star like colorless build to the weird Amazing Rare Rainbow, not Rainbow Energy. Sorry, what's the energy called? Aurora Energy build. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, it was quite we'll cool because she just piled on all four Aurora Energy to an Amazing Rare Eveltal, yeah. which is which is for five random energy cards like fire water grass whatever it just um the effect of the attack is your opponent's pokemon is knocked out so it's for, for a single prize pokemon that's quite mad and you can only stop that with like with that with that big parasol or something aren't you but other than that you can just i i, I think i saw um uh uv max being taken out <laughs> <laughs> right, bye <laughs> Being able to use so, especially considering the amazing rares are single prizes. Yes, it's just like 
But then if you want to keep in the prize race, you've got to then find a way to boss or, or gust something else. Up. Yeah, I, the amazing rares when they came out, everyone kind of like brushed over them. But now mm-hmm. Lugia, for those weird energy costs, Lugia just goes... Bop. I think I have now, some in here, actually. Oh, in, your, in your pocket behind Yeah, because I really like the amazing rares. So got I, collecting them all. Yeah, so I, I, I think I kept... I've got one Raikou in here. And um, I've got one Rayquaza. So the Raikou is good. 120 to active and 120 to bench. That's really yeah. strong. Because you could get, even if Dunsparce was in play, you could just knock it out. Yeah, it's so good against Lost Box, I suppose, as well. So prizes, again, it's just really strong yeah. against another single prize card deck. We've got, really interestingly, Sander is 11th. Yes. Playing some sort of One of, of my control. favorite players. Really upset that they haven't revealed what kind of control. I will definitely that on limitless yeah to see his list or his channel what do you reckon chances are it's got a mewtwo v union in okay i saw he played that um in the last tournament the zacian control with four flanneries yeah he yeah. didn't do that he well, didn't did do he? very well with that one but he tends to play like a skeleton version of the deck first and then like adapts it well so is that how we like test it i think so I don't know. I'm spe- I'm putting words in his mouth here, <laughs> but probably. And Henry Brandt is um, eighth, the world champion in 2000. Yeah, pretty stacked. Yeah. Pretty stacked then. Because Todd's up there in seventh. Azul. We're interestingly playing the Celestial Storm. Not Celestial Storm, sorry. <laughs> the Celebrations. <laughs> the Celebrations. Lewis going back in time. The Celebrations um, Kyogre. Yeah, so yeah. when you've got the eight, um, so tell me what that does. Tell so, us what that does. So combined with Raikou V, interesting, and yeah, Ky- Kyogre from Celebrations for like a double water and a colorless. There's, if you discard the top five cards of your deck, yeah. and for each energy you find there, you do fifty yeah. damage to two Pokemon. So it's like if you find free energy, then you do one hundred and fifty to two bench Pokemon. It's like okay. Bye bye um, Archeops, bye bye Archeops. And then it's like, and then so you've amazing. got Raikou or for, or you can even just knock out uh, a Dunsparce. And then Raikou just comes up. Especially with Mirage Gate, that makes the weird energy cost of playing the water and lightning. Yeah, Mirage Gate yeah. just makes every, Mirage Gate makes so many decks viable that never work. So if Mirage Gate does, kind of <clears> is the dead giveaway that this is some sort of Lost Box deck. Yeah. Like, so. And uh, the 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 Raikou V, it's kind of like the Suicune V, so it does twenty damage for every bench Pokemon. Yeah, it turns out Azul like isn't actually the only weirdo playing this deck. No, because Azul has a testing group, doesn't yeah, it? There's, there's about four or five of them. Grant Manley is playing the Kyogre, but interestingly, Adam Hawkins is playing uh, Rayquaza as is, the amazing is, rare. So is, Adam Hawkins is. Yeah, yeah. I thought that. I was going to say. I was going to ask. UK, good to see a UK player doing really well there. Um, is he the best UK player? Because he's the only one that I really hear. I think he came top mention. 16. Well, that's pretty good then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, answer, the answer is yeah. yes. Playing Agron. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, he's the one that played Agron? Yes. The, the, the one copy of Agron and V? No, it was, or the, was it the V. The, the, he played Agron V and V Max Worlds, I think. With, with an Arceus V Star deck. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that was him. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, yeah, that's about it for the Ally I I'm. I don't know. <clears throat> what's your prediction that will win? Oh, um right i solid deck i, I always follow the plays that i like so like you know like i'm, I'm a bit of a fanboy who goes the plays that i like the most right so i like Tord, i like azul i like sander and i like gustavo Wada. so they're probably my four my four fa- it doesn't mean the others are probably lovely people they're never gonna even gonna watch this or listen so it doesn't even matter but whatever uh, so i wouldn't mind seeing one of those win um tours already won one this year i want to see us all win with his crazy deck with his anti lugia deck that would be fun yeah you know yeah that, I... that would be that would be pretty nice or has sander ever, ever won anything i know he consistently finishes up there but sander ever won he's won a regional i think. Regional. I think he's won a regional but that's because he mainly just gets like top four in like most tournaments. Yeah, which he is really, gets he's probably that. one of the most decorated placements, I'd say. If you look at like the difficulty of Sander playing those control decks, he probably, arguably, does better to reach like say top eight yeah. than the winner does to win, 
with the with the with the meta deck. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. because it's, because it's, Sanders had to work so much harder than than those players to get to top eight. Then other players have to win it. <laughs> it's like he's always starting on the back foot. Yes, yeah, he needs like a couple of packets of paracetamol with him for his headaches. Um, <laughs> yeah, the amount of I mean, you don't you don't get any quick games. Do you? No, no, I'd like. Yeah, I would like to see. Something other than Lugia to win, that would be, so, that'd so who, be nice. Who do, you, who do you want to see winning? Personally, I don't have like, any favourite players, but I'd like to see Tord win, because like, Tord is like my favourite player, but I, I don't have like, loads that I like. It's just mainly Tord and Azul. Mm. If one of those wins, I'd be happy. In reality, I'm going to put, uh, put, put it out there. I think Lugia might win, you know? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, mate. I think you might be on the, on the dot there could be right yeah so that comes to the question right so we so related to this are the first regionals that we've got in the uk for a long while liverpool yes ne- is it december yet no in about a month and, <laughs> about a month <laughs> is, and a half december yet? nearly it feels like it with all the christmas trees up um <laughs> uh it's 26th of november for uh, one we're recording this um so it's it's right so i've got a couple of Decent decks. I've got Giratine. I've got Lost Box. Um, and I've 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 nearly got Mew V Max still, and I like playing those, <clears> and I I have fun with them. But if you look at these results, and it's just flooded with Lugia, and we're thinking, right, Liverpool, is it a case where if you want to do any good, you've got to bring Lugia? And the the issue with that is to buy a four four playset of Lugia V and V Star. You're looking probably best. Off my head, like 120, 130 pounds. Absolute wallet buster. So, so th- that that's the dilemma. So, what would you do? Well, there'll be that one guy that turns up with four gold Lugia, four <laughs> full art Lugia. Here's my one thousand yeah, pound deck. <laughs> I thought, yeah, but I think Lugia is just so strong. But it would be really disappointing if Lugia, if you are going to Liverpool and that's your only tournament for the. Well, the only tournament for the year like for, for, for that and format if, yeah and if that's the only cut like the only tournament where lugia is like or the last tournament where lugia is viable yeah because something else has been not like someone's found something or something else has been brought out i don't know that just beats lugia right like it just like is like oh lugia is now going to be played less because so this... it might be so the next main set will be the yeah. the, 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 the introduction yeah. of the x cards but i don't see a lot of stuff that will be do that so i think lugia v star is definitely worth um getting so right. have players like us then yeah. is it a case of we've now got to buy lugia no V-Star? no not not necessarily I'm trying not to say. I'm trying not to say yes here. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to see the, like that. So, from my experience, not at this. This is an international, so this is very different. The what like the weekly tournaments, we, the local tournaments we would play, and it might be different at a regional, especially in the UK. This is in Brazil. Yeah, UK players are a lot different to. Uh, like, so my um, kind of American. Yeah, because for example, one difference I noticed is that no one in Europe really plays the the, the Reggie the, the Reggie deck with with the small with the single prize Regis, but it's very popular in America. Uh, there's there's no revealed Reggie here. No, so but so badly. If if you go to smaller tournaments and even locals, it's less about what deck you play and more about how you play as a player, how uh how kind of forward thinking you are how good at planning ahead you are think like making sure you i forgot the word not synchronizing cards doing this stuff in the right order Sequen- sequencing yeah. cards so so that kind of becomes more important as long as your deck isn't is like up there as a tier one to two three deck if you're a good player you, you can make that work well and you could you could win a fair bit yeah is that because i you've played the regionals i haven't is that to, how much is that the case in a regional kind of tournament? Can you take a tier two or three deck and kind of outplay people who maybe haven't practiced so much, maybe aren't as naturally gifted at, at you know um, playing the game, yeah. who have just got the best deck in the format? Uh, it's it's completely possible. I've it's happened before where like the deck that no one thinks of wins, like random decks especially, like 
mm -hmm. out of nowhere. That's mainly the case with Control, but there are some like single prizes that come out of nowhere. I know quite a while ago there was a, a random spread deck that appeared using like Pokemon that just do like 20 damage to every Pokemon. Which on but, the face of it seems rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> but then there was like Stadium, which does 10 damage or one damage counter, sorry, to uh, any like EX and GX. So then that damage slowly builds up in that format. Then there was a Pokemon that just moved all damage counters in play to wherever you wanted. And you just win the game in one turn. Especially yeah. back then, that was just like, because, no one saw that. Because what, the time you were talking about, what, um, it sounds like the, the cards didn't have mm -hmm. such a high HP, didn't have such high well, yeah. attacks. And I stuff. suppose the, the closest we have to that now is uh, Lost Box. That's like a cheap deck, which... It's especially being single prizes, your opponent has to manually take six prizes. Yeah. Which is gonna be if even if you're not very good, you're still gonna like have so long to get through that. You game. can make a mistake or yeah. two and, and you yeah. still be okay. You could still do relatively well, yeah. So the Lost Box is still strong because that's what like the Raikyu Kyogre and Mirage Gate is sort of Lost Box. That's yeah. hence why it's called Lost Box and it like you can just an amalgamation of anything. Yeah. It's just like, you know, this will work in Lost Box. <laughs> Never played this before, but this will work in Lost Box. Especially the all the amazing rares really work in Lost Box. I've even seen uh, Reshiram, amazing rare. Yes, I did like a couple times. 270? 270. Something and crazy. And like 60 to itself. Yeah. Uh, I personally think that, no, it doesn't really matter what you play. Yeah. As long as, well, it doesn't matter what you play. If you're not, if you're playing something stupid, that's yeah. like really bad, <laughs> like a theme deck, you're not going to do very well, of course. But as long as you know why you're playing what you're playing, like, oh, you're playing Lost Box, ba basically because of the single, uh, the single prize yeah. aspect. Yeah, and knowing how to approach each game, depending on who, what deck you're playing against. Yeah, I personally think that Lost Box with the Radiant Charizard beat um Resh Reshram <laughs> beats Lugia because mm. it's two eighty, you attach a choice belt and then Charizard is winning the game on the last turn, which I know you're a fan of. Oh, yeah, I love Char yeah, at, at locals I've I've whipped the Charizard out a couple of times. Um it's quite nice because on the Lost Box you can uh, especially at locals, it kind of frustrates your opponent yeah. because they're so used to knocking out V's and axes, two or three prizes, that um, they, they kind of get ahead in the prize race because they're getting one prize, two prizes, and then at the end of it, Charizard can come out and just go, three prizes there, and the next turn, three prizes there. It's like, thank you very much, bye. Yeah, sure. and, and they're like, they're, they're there, like shell shocked. Like, how did that just happen? <laughs> yeah, Radiant Charizard is very strong, of course, for the ability just. Uh, being able to just attack for uh, essentially one energy. Yeah, so Radiant Charizard, well, it, on the face of it, it's it's one fire energy and four colourless energy to do 250 damage, then it can't attack next turn. But it's got an ability on there which says uh, this attack cost costs one energy less for every prize your opponent has taken. So if they've taken four prizes, you can attack for one one fire energy. Yeah. Um, and just got to make sure there's no path after the peak in play and you're doing 250 damage and if you put a belt on as you say that's 280 that's a lugia vista that's yeah nom 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 nom, nom, nom. nom. Lugia, how yeah. do they taste is it legal to farm lugia lugias and uh, it probably tastes <laughs> like air air yeah. i reckon it would taste like a whale not that i've ever like really fatty yeah just like a big thick layer of fat around it what is going <laughs> <It's>, um, <laughs> um that's yeah i don't know what we're talking about now so the best they could format will still be lugia you reckon yeah all, all the way at least till the uh violet scarlet and violet that comes out because there's nothing really in crown zenith radiant charger bug gonna change radiant charger bug so yeah they did release radiant charger bug it's just it's pretty basic isn't it it's just do you think it'll be really good no, no. <laughs> you can search it with level ball. There's not even. Do you think it'd be really good? You can search it with level ball. <laughs> no, it's, 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 so you just. It's you just. Most lots yeah, of things yeah. are level ball. So if your opponent attaches an energy to a V, they take twenty damage. So yeah. you could quickly accumulate. You could accumulate damage on the. But does that work if if Archaeops is attaching energy to here? It's, it's only map it. from your hand. Yeah, it's only from your hand. I think, yeah. So. so it could be an interesting. Test. So just like. No. <laughs> it's just a filler card. 
it, it looks cool, cool though. Uh, yeah, yeah I, looks cool. I like how they're it, it's a shiny variant of Pokemon. And there's like the normal one background. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone start buying Binders those radiant charger bugs for your yeah. binder. Yeah. yeah. Binder if, fillers. If, if you've got any uh, unpopular opinions of what, of any sleeper cards in this that aren't being played right now, might have a, quite a bright future place. Uh, I actually can't remember what's in this set, to be yeah. honest. Um, oh, I, I just saw it, yeah. I personally really want to play Superior V Star. Oh, yeah, you, you mentioned that. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know why. why. It doesn't seem like it's very strong but it just seems Oops. fun that's all i'm gonna say it just seems like a so, fun deck to play. so no one's gonna know what this does so superior v star is superior in every way um of course. <laughs> 270 hp right it's attack one grass two colorless called regal blender it does that sounds like making me hungry um, um, 100, um, um. 190 damage you may move any amount of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. That sounds pretty cool to me. That's free retreat. And so then it's got a, a free it retreat. It, and its V-Star power is an attack. One grass energy. Star winder. 60 times. This attack does 60 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So that's not an option. You have to switch. Okay. So you've played it, so what's it like? Is I it... haven't played it. I thought, I thought you played a little bit with it. Nope, yeah. I have um, just been interested by it. I haven't been able to build it. I haven't sent a list yet, that's why. Build one. I can't build lists. Bro. I forgot Ultra Balls in the last list. I should, we do, um, should, should we do a, a challenge for next time? Do we both, on our own, with no help, build a superior list and then compare them? On the... Go for it, yeah. That sounds good. I'll, we I'll just build, fist pumps. I'll build a, a fist bump. Fist pumps. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> okay, but yeah, we'll do that. We'll see who has the best one. That's... And then we can... Um... And then we can pick each other's lists yeah. apart and go... Be like, what is this? Well, why what, is... what are you doing, yeah, why Lewis Guinan? Yeah. Yeah, no, right, we'll, we'll be nice. Fun. That sounds yeah. quite a cool thing to right. do. Yeah, I just think this card is interesting. But we'll leave that till next week when we go over our list. Yeah. For this so... funky deck. Funky deck. So, th so that could be something that I actually do think that will be picked up later on. Superior, like so people will start playing that at some point. I, I hope so because it seems good in um like if the format was slower, I think it would be good. Mm. If you get what I mean, like if we were in like last time's pace. Yeah, at, at the minute it's like you have to be so aggressive and so fast, or you're not going to win. Um, especially I'm not talking about casual play, but tournaments like a regional. Yeah. You you have to be matching the Lugia, the, the, the Mu V Max, the Lost Box. Otherwise, if you take a, a, a couple, like even one more turn just to get set up, or you're just not quite as consistent. That's unfortunately why the only like Arceus that has made it into this like bracket that we can see is Arceus Duraludon. Yeah. It's, and that's just like the only Arceus variant because it's just too slow. Mm. It's unfortunate. But it is. Apart from that, I think Lugia is just like the big. Poster boy, isn't he? Yeah, Luke is going to be crazy. There's um Reggie Drago, but that's not very good either. That's her not shown. You know, anything. I haven't even bothered to play it because it hasn't shown anything. It, it's not even in any of these like decks. It's no, just, it's been another dragon that's popped again. I just think I haven't played it, so I might be just talking absolute BS here. But I just don't <laughs> see it being that cons. It's not no. It gets beaten by path usually. Especially mm. gets beaten by item lock, uh, ability lock. Sorry, it's really cool. It is, yeah. Well, I just don't apex dragon. But the thing is, though, if they're um if they're attacking you for big one shots, what are they using? Like Giratina, mm. but then they got to pull their energy away, and it's not a deck that like attaches more of Mirage Gate the next turn. Mm. So I just think the way you would play it is with Gudra, maybe. But why wouldn't you just play Gudra itself? Yeah, Gudra's just better on its own. So yeah. um. Apex Dragon is the main attack you use. Uh, two yeah. grass, it's one fire. Attack. Well, the only one, yeah. <laughs> uh, choose an attack from a dragon Pokemon in your discard pile and use it as this attack. But yeah, you say, if you want to play Giratina, people are playing Giratina. And if you want to play Gudra, it's a very good deck on its own. You play Gudra. Did you not just beat that with... Um... Just sorry, I just kind of cut you off there. But no, <laughs> did you're... you not just beat that with um, Spiritomb? It's Spiritomb that you go into your opponent's discard pile and for each 
Pokemon in there and you do like 10 damage somewhere. Could do. And then you shuffle the, the shuffle Pokemon back into the, back into the deck. That's kind of a cool I thing. think that's what it does. If you, so, if, so yeah. if Reggie Drago was best deck in format, that would be the anti-meta deck. There you go, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's what it does. I might be... It, it, it rings true. So I think someone played it to be um, Dugia. Yeah. Because you just put the Archeops back in if you after the not in this set but that's pretty cool yeah the this the trainers it's just serena was better than i thought it would be i'll just say that now i thought serena wasn't gonna do that yeah good. i remember you saying oh no serena only works on v's and it's not it's, gonna be that it's good. all right it's pretty good it's 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 another boss good yeah it's absolutely I've, i mean yeah, i found it really good in lugia i have it? cut like certain cards in my deck for serena mm. like like boss for serena i have done that before so I I do take that what I say it is pretty it's pretty good. I still wouldn't say it's like broken. I still think boss is no, superior. Not, I don't even like um, using the word broken to be honest. It, it, it's just not as good as what people thought it would be. But no, it's, it's still pretty it's, solid. It's the best supporter in the set. So it's got that going. There's probably only about three supporters in the set anyway. It's got that going for it. Um. So you, so you'd use you'd, if you've got boss and Serena. <laughs> yeah. You've got pretty much what was I was, was going to say something then, but I've completely just. So yeah. I think I, I cut you off then. It's just flopped out of my brain. Yeah, floppy brain. But yeah, yeah so yeah. Serena, you can choose one, which is already, it's like two in one already. Uh, discard up to three cards from your hand. So you can just do one if you want. Yeah, you must discard at least one. If you do, draw cards until you have five in your hand. So I've seen that being played. UV. Obviously Lugia. You can discard an Archeops. That is cool. Take it off. And... Or you can switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon V with their active Pokemon. So I kind of like the vers versatility of it. Choose one cards are normally quite good, like in, like two choices or three choices. They usually that may I think that makes a difference where it just says you don't have to discard three. You can, yeah. you can discard one if you it's want. A situation situation dependent on what's going mm. on. What was the card which I was on about, and you were like, no, it's rubbish, not good, it's rubbish. Oh, was that the uh, the the V Star Power Amulet? They play that with Rapidash, or no, not uh, Rapidash. Might be someone else. Um, what were you on? About? Obviously, I'll play Forest Hill Stone in Mew. Yeah, but um, oh no, it was from that old set. That Volo was. Uh, yeah, Volo's good. Volo's good. Yeah, yeah, I remember you weren't so keen on it when I first mentioned. It. Uh, but, but that's then... rubbish. It it was rubbish. It is kind of still bad. Because you're like, because I remember you saying, well, you, it's not that good to use as your supporter for turn. Yes, no. For the late game, it could mess up your opponent's prize map. I think it's quite good. Yeah. I saw this the other day and I read it and I was like, could we ever make this work? Quadstone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I said this to you, didn't I? So you, you may use four Quadstone cards at once. So if you thought Cross Switcher was bad, you have to get two at the same time. Imagine you've got to get all four Quadstone in your hand at the same time. About stuff there. And then, yeah, if if you used, hang on, if you used one card, heal 10 damage from your active Pokemon. If you use four cards, heal all damage from each of your Pokemon. This effect works one time for the four for four cards. If you can get four in your hand, that is crazy. Very interested if you could um, play them all individually at the same time to put you from the active. But everyone would you actually be able to do that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Probably. But then would you if you that say you use the four and then there was something that brought back items into your hand. So it, you it's go. Hang on. If you're playing Zoroark. You don't want to heal all of them. Uh, no. <laughs> but you wouldn't play anyway. You'd play it's, Shonsuke. No, it's, just, <laughs> it's not good. It's, it's good. It's funny. It's funny. Let's give it that. It was like, um, it's so they always print one of these, like every set. Like this weird gimmick where you have to get like all four. <laughs> but that's, that's You would never good. be able to play this card, but the effects of it are crazy if you do. It's like, uh, yeah. That's, that's really about it, isn't it? For... Pretty and much. L A I C and other topic <laughs> about the set. And the next one, what do we think of the just... second format? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We discussed that. So, l l last time you said you'd play uh, Control. Look at playing Control, maybe. I can't be bothered with that. No, I can't <laughs> be You'll be tired. You'll yeah. be more tired than you are now. It's probably just looking like. Yeah. yeah. It seems like the 
smarter play where you're guaranteed for at least one. And it's just so expensive. And, yeah. and on that topic of being expensive... It is a shame that it's so expensive. That's the only thing that we had really stopped, stopped me from playing it. I'm going to transition here, Lewis. And on that, on that topic of being expensive, we had a local tournament recently where it was a, it, it was a pay-to-enter tournament, so it was like probably a, a level up from just weekly locals. Yeah. You pay, but you get your pack. And your yeah. Um, and they allowed people to use proxy cards. So you could literally, if you wanted to play Lugia, you could just go and print it off at home, black and white printer, put it in a sleeve with a card behind it, and, and play it. And we, we were gonna we were gonna go and play that, but when we found out that they were allowing proxy cards, it kind of put me off a bit. I didn't really. I was like, well, I don't really want to play that anymore. <laughs> uh, I think it, the proxies were annoying, but it was more the fact that they were allowing people to play Silver Tempest in a tournament to win a booster box of Silver Tempest a week before the set's even out. Yeah. Set wasn't even legal, and they're allowing people to proxies for it. If you proxy one card, yes, I'd be a bit iffy about it, but I'm not going to be like, this is a load of. Yeah, you yeah, should be banned from yeah, your part play. <laughs> it's like, if they're like, oh, I've got four Lugia proxy, four Lugia V proxy, it's a bit like, oh. And especially considering the fact I was going to play a deck that loses to Lugia like pretty much all of the time, especially without the additional things that could maybe help you. It's just like, well, I know I'm going to lose to those people. And they lost, like, four players were uninterested as soon as they announced that. It's not like they even gave us any warning. It was announced, like, the day before the tournament. Was it even announced, or did someone have to message them? And... So, yeah, people had to ask, like, because it was question, like, question, like, oh, are there, are there proxies allowed? And then they put, the like, the answer a day before the tournament. Yeah. I was quite excited for that because we were planning on doing a little cheeky vlog. Yeah, we were going to so, do some cheeky vlogs. And uh, um, then they just... Yeah, so with, what, as you were saying, with the um, Silver Tempest not being legal for another week, like, you haven't, we haven't yet tested or bought a deck which is suitable for that. Because if, if we're playing a deck now which is really good in the current format, but it would need a lot of change when Lugia comes around, when Silver Tempest is illegal, it's gonna. It makes a huge difference, yeah. basically, and so you're not prepared. We're not prepared to play Lugia yet. So to me, it was like maybe, maybe the store was trying to be too inclusive, but yeah. lost their perspective a little bit on the whole game. In that, that's not doesn't really sit right with because we, we're not there yet. We, we know we're still in this format. We're not in that new format yet. We need time to build decks for it and practice it but they're probably just trying to think of the people that are brand new to the game i can't afford lugia or let's just do something fun you know just smash your massive drink down you're yeah. bigger than your head yeah um, i mean to, to me in a paid for tournament i i don't think proxy should be allowed because you put effort in building your own deck i was a bit annoyed about that um it's like even though i think i was going to play lost box maybe um, yeah, it's not the most expensive deck, but I've still had to put the effort into go and source the cards, go and go and trade for them. Uh, I had to buy a couple off eBay, and that that process is like time consuming. It's costly, and it's part of the game. If you're going into a tournament and it's like someone is just the night before just printing off, kind of just it kind of to me it feels like it makes it makes a bit of a mockery out of those people effort in and actually gone and got. Yeah, well. Simply put, you're not playing the actual cards, so you're not actually no. playing the game. Aren't you? You're not playing the game, no. no. <laughs> they're not real. They're just like tiny prints of the card, which you need a magnifying glass to read half of the time. Yeah. It's just like, I don't think it should be acceptable. It's fine if you're in a testing group and before you buy a few. Oh, that's different. To see if, yeah, that's completely different, but it's, that's where they're used. Or I'd be okay if someone came in with, a, like I said, a couple of proxies. If they're like, or scoop up nets, which is like a stupid bulk card which they can't get because they can't, they haven't pulled them. Someone did it with VIP pass. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. That but a, a whole deck, because I know someone who did go to that tournament proxied like a full Bolton's deck. I mean, I don't know why they'd proxy really? that. That's, that's what funny. someone told me. 
But I don't know why they'd proxy the whole deck, but... I mean, okay, it's the whole deck. Like, <laughs> what? Like, you haven't built the actual deck. You're just playing black and white print. Yeah. I mean, I, I can... Obviously, there's both sides to it. You want it to be inclusive. You, you want people... It is a very... In, the popularity of this game is huge. It's growing. More people are getting into it. It's great. But kind of go, takes it a step too far when you allow everyone to use proxies actual in a tournament which casual it put me off from wanting to go i thought i'm not driving half an hour there spending six hours playing driving half an hour back like time that i could have been could have spent doing something else productive or something no I, this, it wasn't really what i wanted to do um i didn't and it was there was also the the topic came up of yeah but what if people all is that they want? They lost <laughs> like a thirty-five pound deck altogether. Yeah, uh, the most expensive card is the Radiant Charizard. Yeah, was, yeah. Just what? I don't know. I don't something. know the prices. But, but even if would you let someone proxy that? What just the Charizard? Just the Charizard. It was just the Charizard. But like, yeah. come on, man. One card, surely you can like. But say like I don't know, someone's struggling to pay their rent and they've got everything else. But it is, it's. But they can't get the twenty quid to get the Charizard. I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's fine. But so, there are other options. Not play the Charizard. Yeah, you can you play another card. Play like a card that you do have, and then just kind of like tweak the deck. I'll just, just take the Charizard Charizard out and stick with Fire Energy in there. No. You just play it like something else. Like I don't know. So you're saying like the Snorlax? Play within your means. Yeah, especially at fun league tournaments. It's all about practicing what works for you. Yeah. It's it's all good being like, oh yeah, Charizard's the best count, best like heck for this. It is if you have it. But what if it what if it doesn't work for you? What if it's not your play style of mm -hmm. waiting until you've got two prize cards, your opponent has one and then winning the game with that one Pokemon? What if that isn't your prior play style? Yeah. And it's not gonna work, is it? Your play style is like more conservative, like with the Snorlax or something. Taking those knockouts Which earlier. Which I hate, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Taking those knockouts earlier and with the Cramorant and stuff, that can work. So, yeah. so it's all about what works for you, not necessarily what works for the big pros. And it also comes down to, again, what was mentioned earlier. It's not all about the deck you've got. It's about how you play what you've got. You could play, you could play a Tier 3 deck very well against someone playing a Tier 1 deck not very well and beat them. And so, especially at these low, more casual tour lower tournaments, you know, you could probably, probably do it a little bit at maybe the first few rounds of a regional. Then when you start hitting actual really yeah, good players, like, oh, oh, okay, in the headlight, in the headlights. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, these are people who practice six, seven, eight hours a day. Yeah, and... these are people who Pokemon is their full time job. Yeah, yeah. Th th that that's. If anything, that would just be a good experience, wouldn't it? I get by that point. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like the thing we always say, though, is always play every game in a region, aren't it? Yeah, we did. We said, we said that yeah. last week, didn't we? Because of the experience you get yeah. from it, and also that's how you would improve the deck. If say you aren't playing the Charizard, someone would be like, "Oh, you can play the Charizard," and then that person, if they're really nice, not necessarily give you the Charizard, but then you get a trade of them. I know people do that at regionals, like after. You're not like grumpy because you lost, or they're not grumpy because they lost. We'll go bright red. They'll be like, do you want... <laughs> they'll be like, they'll be like, do you want to uh, do you want to trade, or we can work something out for this because it will be useful in your deck. Stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. And not only that, you've now made a connection, uh, maybe a friend, whatever. That in the long term is going to be a great asset. You. Uh, wow. Learning the game is that all? Is that all the community is to you? Is just a, a useful tool gaining asset. Asset. Yeah. It's, it's helping each other, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That so is... it, 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 if you go zero three and drop and go home in a stalk, you're probably not going to speak to anyone. You, you, you've you've just gone straight home and you've learned nothing. If you go zero three and just go and and you skip the angry sulking, whatever. Blaming everything else apart from you, blaming bad luck, uh, but blaming top decks. If you skip all of that and just go to acceptance, go right. This has happened. I've accepted it. I'm not going to get emotional. Let's what can 
Like, it could still be a nice day. You'll get a lot out of it. I can meet new friends, meet new people, learn from them. And like most, most friendships, friendships are, you, you get value out of each other from being a friend. Yeah. So, yeah, I know at, um, at Worlds, the one in Washington, my last round opponent, we ended up tying. It didn't matter if any of us won or lost. And we were like really good friends and got added to like Facebook group with them and everything. And they were at, um, they were at London and never, unfortunately, I didn't see them, but I knew they were there. It was so annoying. And I, there was like a photo taken. It was like, like a really nice moment in the game where we just decided to tie and we really had a fun game. It was, it was like, especially in the most serious tournament of the, the year our last game we had jokes basically yeah um and then <laughs> can carried on to play a lowland executor rowlet tag team in the cup after and be like the fan favorite <laughs> i didn't do very well no, oh, actually, actually i did like top 30 or something pretty good <laughs> yeah pretty good yeah i mean, I mean what, what you said there like that i think that is very easy to forget that you can go to uh because there's a bit of an of an effort in entering paying to the paying the ticket to enter traveling getting time off work and whatever people will get really serious about this game and it's like it, it turns into a kind of life and life or death scenario where they forget that mate it's a game like have fun have a joke what it, it doesn't it's not the end of the world necessarily if you win or lose if, if you've done your best and you, you you played well you can play well and lose um, if you have, you know, you, you could even notch up how many mistakes you know it is made and kind of like, right, I'll try not to make that one again. And you know, so it's still really productive. And you could make mistakes and win, you can make mistakes and lose, whatever. But people forget to have to have the fun and yeah. enjoy it. Might as well make it worth your while, right? You know, I, we might not be here for very long, but even if we do live long, it's not very long still. Right, moving on. You know? It's getting all dark now. It's no, it's true. Scary. It's, no, it's... No, a, it's I, know, I, I what you mean, though. I, I stand by this point. Might as well enjoy. Yeah. Um, because I've seen it, not just in in this game, but in sport, because I'm heavily involved in sport as well. People are in the, in the really nice places, have brilliant opportunities. They're, all the best players are in the same place. And in sport, all the best athletes are there. But they're so driven and they've got their blinkers so on like a horse yeah. has that i must win i must win and and it gets a bit much and it starts affecting how they're acting as well and i think it's just a really good reminder to just chill out and en- enjoy it not all about enjoy those pokemen the uh, all pokey women days uh, pokey babies pokey baby yeah the baby pokemon but pokey pokey, leg- pokey what about the non-gender ones the legend pokey legendaries yeah, like yeah, pokey, pokey its, pokey its. There we go, pokey them's. <laughs> oh, there they are. So... Pokey, can, please, can you tell me your pronouns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need to write a full consent form. <laughs> yes, please. May I ask your parent? Please, may I have permission to look at you? Wow. Please, may I have permission? Um, fist pump. You have no permission. To look at me. Well, I'll look that way for the rest of it. Fair enough. So for this quiz now, you've got. Oh yeah, we're doing. We're going to do a quiz now. Better than last time. Yeah, hopefully. we we've refined it with help from Simon, you, you, your your da, your dad. We yeah. have we. Time for me we, to get up. We've revolutionised the quiz. So while you do that, I'll explain what what we're doing. You so if you ever if you listened to last week, forget last week. Trial <laughs> run. It never yeah. happened, right? We, we're going to start a fresh zero zero, and it, so this. Today it's Lewis's turn to ask me. Uh, well, he's gonna. He's got the questions for me, and he's gonna have. Is there two or three in total of cards? So we've got three cards. Three uh, cards. Got easy, medium, or hard. Ali picks one. He picks the easy and gets it right. You get one point. Yeah. If you pick the medium and get it right. You get two points. If you pick the hard and get it right, you get three points. So it's just one round, or are you going to do that multiple times? Uh, it's just, just you pick one, yeah. It's just, just one. one, okay. Yeah. And, and then how how are, you, how are you going to work it? So the first one, you I think for the easy, you get no clue. But if you get it, you get one point. If you pick the medium and get, you get one clue, and the clue is uh, you read the 
abilities x what it does yeah that's the clue um so if you don't know it then it's you just get that clue that will then negate one point that's why we don't do it for the easy because and yeah. then for the hard you get one clue okay but you get, more, you get more you get more three points so what's the question you're going to ask me to so it's going to be here's the i'm going to pick a random pokemon that has an ability and you've got to give me the ability's name okay. that's why the clue is the ability's text got you and i'll so if yep. i go for the easiest one yep and then i and i have the hint hmm? how many points will i get if i get it right if you get the easiest one you don't there's no hint for you. oh so you, you, it's you easy just, yeah so, so i'd get one point for that yeah and then if i go for the medium one you get a clue and then you get one point got it right the clue right so it depends if the medium if you know it straight away or not okay i, re I really want to take just the easy one but then is that quite boring depends mm. depends what you've got you got hard easy medium let's go medium okay so the medium is so i'm going to give you the pokemon's name which okay. is mewtwo v union what is the ability name You know the um the I know what it does. On the yeah. Yeah, because you've had to read it. Uh -huh. So if I have help, what so you would read the ability? I'd read what it does, yeah. So that's that, that's that. not gonna help me because I know what it does. It it's it prevents effects from your opponent's attacks. I don't know, does it? <laughs> oh, I actually don't know. But um and it's two, I think it's two words. I've got a bit of a photographic memory. Well, we'll find out if I have. I've got the cards in there somewhere behind us. <laughs> it is something like, I'm writing down as well. It's not ability lock. Oh my God. Because it's not an ability. I've never actually like, spoke that name out loud. I can't believe this is the idea. This is quite hard for me because I don't play that. Um, I'm not gonna get it. So read the read the thing out. Read the. You know what it does. Yeah, I know, but it's just yes, yes. You know what it does. You won't be gaining any information. All right, ability lock. Really? Is that, that your final guess? I have no idea. I think Mewtwo. Mewtwo. It's like Mewtwo. Like just got Mewtwo just, in the name no, of it. No, just think of like the Mewtwo name. I mean, like so, so Mewtwo v Union is there's one ability, isn't yeah. there? On one of the quadrants. Yeah, it's not like the like they have four. Yeah. Yes, I believe in you. No, I it's, it's 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 like asking me what just think something is that I don't okay. know. Like like, no, like okay. Lewis, tell me the brand of that wheel on that bike over there, which no one can see. <laughs> it's like I don't know. I believe in you, Lewis. <laughs> right. Um Aquasport. Oh. Aquasport. That's my guess. It's something, it's not, is it, it's something to do with, the, it's not abilities, is it? It's not abilities. I think it's, it stops the effects of something. So, for example, um, it would stop, would it stop Giratina being able to attack it? Because back to the damage would. I think we need some sort of bell. We'd have to have Path in. Hurry up, like, ding, ding, ding. No, I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know. So, effects. You two, absolutely fantastic lock. Go on. I think we need like in quotation marks exactly what you just said up there. Yeah. No, it was photon barrier. And then all effects of attacks from your opponent. Oh, come on. Photon Pokemon. barrier. Like that, yeah. It just... That reminds me of a science lesson <laughs> doing the biology. Yeah, I've got a picture of the exact corner here. Let's have a look. Wait, that was oh. able to. So I, maybe I can get it up yeah, on the screen. Yeah, that's the exact corner there. Photon barrier. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oof. This guy. There you go. And then the other, do you want to know what the other two were? Cause, or should we yeah, tell me the easy and the okay. hard one. So this was the easy one. Oh, Maybe I just I read that there. recently. Yeah, what is it, is, is it Excited Heat? Excited Heart. Oh. And then the hard one, this guy. Stunfisk. Galarian. I can't even read that. Okay, so it was Galarian Stunfisk V, this one. Its ability is Metal Skin. Yeah, no, no. That's way. what it's called, and it was just because it's the heart. I might have even got the first one right because so, I. What did I say? Um, excited heat. Yeah, and, it, and it's not. It's heart. So that is nil point 
a your alley. Quiet. I'm going to make a and note of, of your easy, medium, hard. Yeah. So I can kind of do it on an equal footing when I choose them. So we had Raylu Ray Ray Charizard. The, the, the medium was Mewtwo. Mewtwo V. And then the hard one was Larian Storm. That was that That's was much better. That was. Yeah. Insane. Well, not not for me because uh, I didn't know the name. We're bad at this. We're we'll allowed to. Are we allowed to do research? Are we allowed to just look through some cars and? A bit cheaty, isn't it? Well, I get, we probably we, we we cars anyway, don't we? If you just like, yeah, that's just do what you normally do. Just. We're spend two hours yeah. tonight. Sat in a corner, yeah, looking at Pokemon with abilities. Be like, be like, let's go on Safari, Pokemon with abilities, because that's probably what Lewis does. So I'm going to write them on my hand right here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so nil nil. Yeah, nil nil. And uh, um, I'll, your turn. Yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah, that's. I, I like this version a lot better. Yeah, I'll do I'll, a few. So we should we show everyone your uh, little like thing you made from last episode. Your what? Secret V Star. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so in, in memory of my absolute terrible guess about <laughs> the, the the blue dragon. Yeah. V being forget the quiz. It yeah. was this that shocked me. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, <laughs> the big blue dragon is Smeargle V, and in memory of that, Ali has made an absolutely beautiful V Star marker. Yeah, I really go. hope that he does take. So we've got Smeargle V because it's uh, you said Smeargle, didn't you? Smeargle V is so, a big blue dragon. S- Smeag- so I was I was saying, <laughs> right, a big blue dragon which has got swoop across attack, a V, and it's and it's like from what set was it from? Rebel class or something? No, the one like, the one before Darkness that, ablaze. Darkness Ablaze, <laughs> and he goes Smeargle, Smeargle V. <laughs> I was like, yes, the big blue dragon snake will be. <laughs> so I've made it into a V, a v star marker. It's beautiful, isn't it? So you, if you're on YouTube, you can you could just see that, and um, I'm, that is now my. That's amazing. Forget a metal V star marker. I'm using snake. Snake will be. Brilliant. Um, right. We absolutely smashed and blasted through that one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Is, is there that... anything else you want to talk about? Um, the, the economy of the US right now. Go on to that. Uh, good time to invest soon. Yeah, should we turn it to a finance? Getting those, getting those bitcoins. Finance man. discussion. Yeah, yeah. This is something we'd have could have ended. What talking about Bitcoin? Mm-hmm. All right, let's let's stop there what, before what we. What have we got happening the next two weeks, Pokemon wise? What's happening? Uh, Any tournaments? Nothing, I don't think. Any winner boxes or anything? I think so. Okay. It might be one in Milton Keynes. Yeah, down the road. <laughs> well, you, you go there, don't you? Yeah. Couple down there. Yeah, so we'll uh, if we can do any vlogging yeah. or anything, we will. If there is one, but the main the main one to look forward to is Liverpool. Liverpool is gonna creep up really quickly. Yeah. We have got about six weeks, I reckon. It's gonna be cool. Then next next week we can talk about our prep for Liverpool. How, how... And if we got tickets or not? Yes, we'll know if we got tickets. Yeah, yeah we'll know if we got tickets. And uh, one of us could be sad. I could be like. Aaron in the corner, so I didn't get a ticket. Like. Aaron, it, red-faced Lewis in the corner, yeah. not talking to anybody. <laughs> yeah. That's All right. wraps it up, doesn't it? Yeah, thank you for listening if you got this far. Um, send us some feedback. Oh, very, very important to help us grow and reach a wider audience. If you're on YouTube and you're not yet subscribed, that would help us a lot. And if you could, even if you just like like the video and then just comment a random word. As long hey as guys, there, what's up? Be yeah. Like, comment, everyone comment the word onions. Smeagol. No, onions. Smeagol the dragon. Smeagol. 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 Not Harry, it's not the Hobbit. Is S- it? Smeagol. Smeagol. Everyone comment Smeagol the big yeah. blue dragon. And go. leave a rating on Spotify and, and, and that'll help us greatly. And thank you very much. We're going to go. Home. We're going to go home. I'm already home. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. Throw our a bit. Bye. See you next time.